Hello everybody, I am Nycad. We are playing Feed the Beast. Today we are making a turtle. Let's get that going. First you have to start by making a computer, which we have enough materials to do. There's our computer. And then you surround the computer with iron. And we actually need a chest. Where's my chest? There's this one. Let's put a chest on there. Bam! We have a turtle. It's actually called an elf right now. This is a holiday thing. I think it's still going to be like that for a while. And one thing I discovered about these guys is... We can make one of these picks. We don't need a diamond one. Bam! We got a mining elf. Let's take a look at him. Very cool. We're gonna get in here, and the first thing you want to do with a turtle is set a label for him. We're gonna call him label name. Oh no, set. <clears throat> He's a turtle. Let's call him Franklin. Computer label set to Franklin. Now he will remember any of the programs we put into him. Uh, let's get him back. And the reason I wanted a turtle is because we need a kind of mine down to bedrock. Uh, we are at what's our why here we're at Y69, so we're a little bit higher than than average uh, in terms of where we are in uh, the height level, and that means uh, we're not getting down to diamond level, we're not getting down to redstone, uh, and we need these materials going forward. So the best thing to do, in my opinion, is just to make a mine. And I kind of want to save the area over here for house construction at some point. So we need to find a good place to put our mine. Uh, let's take a look up over here. I'd like it to be somewhat connected to the rest of the village. Maybe over here yeah so what will the you know we'll bring roads or something across over here and we'll have our mining facility over here is anything gonna drop on me no all right so it'll be right here and let's use this guy do I have coal I have some charcoal let's put our mine shaft Right here. Just clear off some of the snow. So we'll put him down there. And we're going to give him the command. He comes preloaded with a handful of commands. One of them is excavate. So let's get into our get into Franklin here and tell him to excavate three. Uh, we're going to put the coal in here, and that will get him working. Yeah, there he goes. He's going to dig down in a 3x3 three three pattern all the way down to bedrock. When he comes back, he'll dump anything he's picked up into a chest if we place it there. So let's go get a chest. Or do we have enough wood to make one? we got enough wood to make one. Let's just make a workbench over here. That's not how you do that. There we go. And we'll put that right there. So he'll come back up. He'll put a bunch of stuff into that. Uh, we'll give him any coal he finds as fuel when he comes back. I love these guys. Look at them go. Slower than a player, probably, but it also means you, could, if you're not sitting here watching him anyway, it means you can go and do other things. Just let him go. He'll do his stuff. Yeah. Alright. That's uh, good enough for now. Okay, we are back. While we're waiting for Franklin to finish his work over there, I've made a second turtle. Uh, this guy's job is going to be harvesting this cactus. He's going to come down here, turn, go back it that way, turn back that way, turn back that way, come out two blocks, turn, 
come over here, and then he should come down here and drop everything into that chest, and then return to his ready position. I've given him a label. His name is Cactus Jack, and this is the the program I wrote for him. So it starts. This is the counter. It'll keep count of how many cactuses he's done. Uh, this little bit just refuels him. This is the function he'll call when he gets over a cactus. He'll dig down, drop down one, dig down again, and then he'll return to uh, the top level. And this is what he'll do every time between the cactus. He'll refuel, then he'll move forward two blocks. And then this is the function, this unload function. This is what he'll call when he gets back to the starting position. He'll refuel, go down three, and then for every one of the inventory slots here, he will drop everything in it. So he'll unload his entire inventory except what's in the first slot, which will be his fuel slot. And we'll put our charcoal in there. Then he'll refuel again, just in case, and then go back up to the starting position. So this is where the actual program starts, uh, right here. He calls next first, and that moves him forward two blocks to the cactus. So when he gets to the cactus, he'll count, refuel, harvest, and then if the count is 4, 12, or 16, he'll do something different. Uh, if it's 4 or 12, he'll have to make a turn. Uh, and if it's uh, 16, oh no wait, that shouldn't be, this should be 8. Good catch right now, or that would have screwed everything up. <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> um, then if it's 16, he'll return home, which that should do. Then when he gets home, he'll turn right and unload. So let's, let's try it. So, cactus. There he goes. Will he turn? He did. Uh oh. Uh oh. I forgot to make him turn again. Where's he gonna go? This is not good. Okay, so small problem. I forgot to make him turn the right way again. Um, did he pick up snow from that? No. Uh, I don't know what that error was. Let's check that out first. So 61 was the line. Uh, 61. Wow, I is less than 6. Local I. I declared I. I did not set it to a number. Okay, so I is equal to 0. It starts at 0. Right. That should work. And now we need to go back here and fix where he turns. So he turns right next, and then turn right. Oh crap. Where are you? Yeah. Oh, he dropped a bow. Not enchanted. Alright. Um, so this guy, then he needs a turn left there. Turn left, and <clears throat> that should all be fine. Okay, so let's pick up Cactus Jack, get his inventory. Let's put these things back on there so it's not a wasted trip for him. Okay, and we need to get him back into position. So, let's put him down there. Uh, go up four. And go forward. Okay, he's back in position, I think. Yeah. So let's give him his fuel again. And cactus. Cactus. 
Now he should come back this time. Uh oh. What happened there? Line 55. Over in the bottom right corner, it shows you what line you're on, so that's an easy way to find turn right. Oh, that's what I screwed up. Turtle dot turn right. Uh, did I get this one right? Yeah. Okay, so turn right. Turn right. Go forward two. Turn left. Go forward eight. Let's bring him back to starting position again. Uh, turn left, turn left, cactus. And then he will make the round, we'll just start him again. Let's see what he does. Nice. Right on. <clears throat> now the real test is going to be if I got this part right when he gets to the very end and returns back. Yeah, do your thing. Harvest that cactus. Nice. Uh-oh. I made him turn the wrong way. Well, there's his cactus. At least he did that right. So if I... If I tell him to... Uh turn in the right direction, he should do that perfectly. So I told him to turn left at the end and he should be turning right. So turn right, go forward, let's say 15. That might be too far. Yeah. Uh, go back to One more. There we go. Turn right. Okay. We're not going to test him again. I think he's working well. We're just going to put the cactus in there for now. And that's all for this guy. All right. So Franklin's still working. He ran out of fuel and was just uh, waiting here. So I've uh, put some coal into him. He's heading back down. He's doing some good work. He got some tin, some lead, quite a bit of marble, some of this stuff, this dicorium. Gravel, cobblestone, and a couple quartz. So all in all, he's doing well. It looks like he's almost at bedrock. He's getting pretty close. Looks like uh, he's going to hit lava, isn't he? And unfortunately, without a diamond pick, he's not capable of mining obsidian. Uh, alright, I'll be back. Hello again! I have made yet another turtle. This is our third turtle. This guy's job is going to be chopping down trees like this, because this is a real pain in the ass to go up and down. So, let's set his name. He's going to be... Label set chopper. Okay. So I've created this file, or this program, standard refueling thing at the beginning. Uh, this is the function where he chops things at his level. What he's going to do is he's going to go up uh, and he'll chop the one in front of him. Then he'll turn right or turn left, depending on which way he's already facing. If he's facing forward, uh, the direction he was facing when he started, it'll be zero. If he's facing to the right, it'll be 1, which is right there. So he turns right and sets it to 1. Then uh, he digs that one. Then he'll, it'll come down here. Oh, this is the part that will get called at the end. This is where he will replant, so we'll see him do that. And this is where the actual program begins uh, when it starts running. He'll dig, he'll move forward, and then as long as he detects a block above him, He'll refuel, dig ahead, uh, or he'll he'll uh, run the dig function that clears that level, and he'll go uh, dig up and then go up. 
So when he reaches the top, if he's facing to the right, he'll turn back forward. Then he'll dig out the block ahead of him, move forward, turn right, and dig that block. Then as long as he doesn't detect something below him, he will move down and dig the block ahead of him. So he'll chop, uh, and then he'll replant right at the end. So what he'll do is he'll chop that block, move forward, chop that block, then this block, and he'll do that all the way up. And then when he's coming back down, he'll get these ones. So let's see him do that. And then, like I said, oh, replant. So then he'll replant them at the end. So let's see him do that log. Oh, I messed something up. Okay, let's just get him back. Uh, we'll put that wood back. Uh, edit log. Did I forget to call refuel? That's probably it. He doesn't have... Maybe that's it. If turtle get fuel less than five, then select one, refuel one. So that should work. Log. What's going on? Edit log 41. I've written this program before. It should work. He's getting a problem at dig. Oh, I know why. Uh, I put the wrong <clears throat> put the wrong thing here. I called that chop. That's the function name, chop. Okay. This time, return him to position. No problems. Log. Yeah, there he goes. Beautiful. These little things are just brilliant. I love them. They make the, the most tedious of tasks into just a little bit of tedious computer programming. <laughs> so, that's a that's a, a, a decent trade-off in my opinion. Well, he's doing that. Let's go see if Franklin's done. There must be a lot of caves through these hills because there's never anything on the surface. Yeah, I hear a skeleton around here somewhere. Oh, there's a creeper. Alright. How you doing, Franklin? Mine 512 items. Let's push E to get out of that. You can't do that. So he's got, uh, he's got some more Zycorium. Got some aluminum. Nothing really interesting. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to find a safe I guess I'm gonna have to go around the edge with the, like a stairway kind of thing. Because I can't turn that all to obsidian, or I'm going to not be able to remove it. I, oh, I guess I could drop gravel down. Maybe I'll do that. Drop gravel down until I can't see anything. Yeah. All right, uh, warrior done here. I'll be back. So Chopper succeeded. He made it all the way back up, or all the way up, all the way back down. Got all the wood. Let's put some more saplings in there. Keep them filled. Put 32 coal or charcoal in them. So he does. Uh, he does his job well, and then he he replants it at the end of him. I'm very pleased with him. Um, and I think next episode maybe we're going to have to start designing some houses because this is getting out of control. It's like a clog dancing festival over here. Clog dancing door slamming festival. Alright, we're moving away from that. Uh, what else do we need to do? Okay, so I set the turtle up. Oh, you know what? I made a mistake. He should be... Dealing with that gravel, I guess we'll have to do it behind him. But I've made him uh, a program that will dig its way down all along the edge here for us. So that I don't have to do it myself. And he's going to put blocks in the wall. So at least I have somewhere to put, uh, put blocks to block the lava. 
I've already dumped gravel down there, so everything in the center is cleared of lava. Let's make some torches. And put those on our way down here. Like so. Let's put one up here. Because I think a skeleton spawned in there. And where's the guy? And see, so he's placing cobblestone beneath him. If there's anywhere that uh, I wouldn't be able to walk. I don't know what happened here. Let's, uh... Hey. Let's get some cobble from him. Doesn't have much. There we go. That should be enough. Let's just block off these tunnels. light it up in here and then back to following him now he's gonna go down to level 5 so he's probably going to end up stopped in the lava that shouldn't be a problem for him uh, we're just gonna have to get him out block this off Reach up. There we go. That should give us a little bit of safety. Uh, we need more torches. Okay, so he's gone down there somewhere. We're at 12. Uh, you're getting close to him, I think. There he is. So that's level 5. I mean, this is really not a good place to have showed up at. Um, I think what we're going to have to do is try to find a way to pump all of this lava out, which is going to be a huge task, but I think doable. So I think that's what we'll do in the next episode, because we're probably getting pretty close to the end of this one. But, we got turtles, so we're making progress. This is awesome. This guy's doing a great job. And next episode, we will continue constructing the mine. So I'll see you then. Take care.